Our history is on the walls, getting up in the streets of Venezuela by Vanessa Espinosa. The graffiti here is illegal, but the graffiti there is legal. Once I saw the graffiti there, I just, I had to go back and just be more immersed in it. When I told my cousin in Caracas, Venezuela, that I was going to the neighborhood of 23 de Enero, she began to shake with fear, told me that she was not going with me and that I should not go into these dangerous areas. But I had the desire more than ever to go and explore this ghetto that everyone feared. We took the metro to the Tranchitos and Favelas outside of Caracas that clutter the mountainside. The city is in the valley and climbs up towards the mountains. At night, the hills sparkle with tiny lights, but up close it's another story. I was with a graffiti crew and we went from small parks and plazas to high-rise apartment projects. We were searching for the art pieces with 3D themes and political messages about the revolution taking place. We saw anti-Bush and pro-Chavez murals, the president of Venezuela. We saw murals dedicated to Chavez's free health and education programs in poor neighborhoods and pueblos. We saw and painted folkloric, religious, and straight Creole Venezuelan murals. I saw figures painted in every cut and corner such as Tupac, Malcolm X, Subcomandante Marcos, Indio Guarico, Simon Bolivar, Che Guevara, and other known and respected artists in the Venezuelan community. We found a place in the barrio 23 de Enero Favelas, below the projects that looked like a good spot to paint. The youth saw us and convinced us to paint the wall overlooking the entire barrio of 23 de Enero. We painted with the revolutionary movement of the Tupamaros, a youth political activist group involved in Venezuelan politics. Graffiti is legal in Venezuela, therefore there is no need to rush the experience and this allows time to fully reflect your talents on the walls and teach others interested. Once the little chamos got back from finding the paint, they all gathered around close to see what we were going to paint with big ideas and only five cans. In the process, everyone from the youth to the grandpa had a turn to paint. We painted, Unamos y seremos invencibles. United together, we will be invincible, in the color red. We ended up painting with the whole crew, and once we finished, my pana Mark was there to help. He teaches for the only mural graffiti arts program in Venezuela. He inspired most of the writers in the area with his complex 3D concepts and messages of social change. All the kids in the hood looked up to him because he offered an alternative path to drugs and the streets. They told me that he's the best around, humble and excited to improvise creatively on the wall with the students. Estando en el mundo, no somos los únicos. Seguimos patrones de vida hechos del material antiséptico que no es más que mierda de la sociedad. Tu personalidad no fallece. Al contrario, reacciona con verdad y respeto. A tu vida, sea justa o de traición, cada momento en la vida, no la vives tú solo. Carlos Sanchez, 12 years old, told me that he now understands that it doesn't matter if the art is pretty, but that it has a message. We went to the headquarters to meet La Familia Negra, a political hip-hop group that Mark is a part of. They combine all the elements of hip-hop, including the MC, DJ, graffiti artist, and breakdancer. They speak on issues happening with the revolution and perform in the worldwide socialism forums. The mountains surrounding their spot in the park called Raúl Cuenca are covered with graffiti pieces that the students have done with Mark. In the background, you hear speakers talking about political action and organization in the community and current events in the revolution. The program has a big respect for the art in the museums as well as learning abstract perspectives in fine art. The movement is about developing street skills and understanding graffiti art as a way of life. Thanks to Mark, my painting experiences in Venezuela were filled with adventure, b-boys, organization, political action, getting drenched in paint, and coming face to face with the real underground ghettos and poverty in Caracas. We were able to connect visual messages of art and expression with the socialist revolutionary movement, standing up to the Bush regime, colonialism, and war. Gracias. No muerda los